Hi, this is Julian from Luminetic.com. Today I want to show you how to refit your zoom lens with a new rubber ring. This is my 24 to 70 mm f2.8 lens. This is my working horse. I use it most of the time, more than any other lens. And it's inevitable that after some time there is some wear on the lens, some parts which wear out and it's time to refit them. And on this lens it's the rubber ring here, which is for the zoom. So when you take the uh, lens here and you, you screw this one here, you turn this one, then you have uh, the zooming action. And this ring, which is touched most of the time, uh, starts to wear out. In my case, as you can see here on the bottom side, uh, it fits perfectly in the groove which is there for the ring. And on the top side, the ring somehow has expanded. Here, it still fits perfectly, but on this side, it overlaps a little. Here is the uh, point where it comes out of the gap. And the ring has expanded a little in this direction, so it also hides the zoom information here, or the uh, focal length you're using at the moment, and so I have to replace it. I contacted Nikon Service and described the problem, asked them what to do, and they said, well, that's the rubber ring is a part which has to be replaced after some time, that's normal wear on the lens. If uh, this wear uh, occurs in the first two years after, the, after you buy it, at least in Germany, I can only talk for Germany, don't know for other countries, then it's a warranty case and they will repair it, uh, replace it for free. After those two years you have to buy a, re a spare part and replace the ring yourself. I've got the spare part here, ordered it from Nikon Germany and they send it to me in a small envelope. Cost 19 euros and something, including shipping. So, here we have it. Put it in a small zip bag and this is the ring which goes on here. They told me that I don't need any special tools or glue or something like that to fit it on the lens body and now let's see how this works. Okay, we have the ring here. This one is supposed to come off, so as it has already expanded a little and overlaps here, it's quite easy to lift it. Now I'm pulling it off carefully. Okay, now you can also see how it looks under this rubber ring. As you can see, there's some kind of electrode, I don't know what it is. And they fixed it with, uh, well, that's actually sticky tape. That's just sticky tape. And now I'm putting the new ring on. It's a little, little handiwork you have to do here. Okay, looks good, looks fine to me, okay, so old rubber ring just taken off without any tools, new ring installed without any tools, as you can see you have to take a minute and adjust the rubber ring accordingly, perhaps I will after this video adjust it the last hundredth of a millimeter, but as you can see it's quite easy. You can do it if your rubber ring at your lens comes off and hopefully this video will help you and perhaps take away some of the, if you're afraid to do it because it's an expensive lens and you don't want to damage it. So if you have the problem just order a spare part and replace the rubber ring. That's it for today, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.